Let the games begin. So, guessing what would be Steve's role in the church nativity play? Oh, this should be fun. Top five answers on the board. Who would Steve Harvey be in the church nativity play? Jesus. <laughs> You're going to be so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh. And they knew it too. <laughs> Joseph. Joseph. Mo got the better answer, so the Badger family played first. Let's see how that went. Mario, who would Steve Harvey be in the church nativity play? One of the wise men. Oh. One of the wise men. Oh. Wise men. Yeah. Nice, they got the first answer, and of course, Steve would be one of the wise men. Janae was the next to answer, and we believe she had a good response too. All right, Janae, with your little fine self, <laughs> who would Steve Harvey be in the church nativity play? I'm sorry, Steve, but the donkey. Yeah. <laughs> the donkey. <laughs> Wait, that's hilarious. What do you think? Will the donkey be up there? I mean, we could kind of see that happening. Anyway, Nia and Liz still have a chance to give their answers. One answer left. You can clear the board. Who would Steve Harvey be in the church nativity play? I'm going to say the innkeeper. The innkeeper. Oh. Well. Liz. Maybe one of the angels. An angel. An angel. Oh, oh, angel. Oh. Okay, Mia and Liz's answers weren't on the table, so Mo was next. One answer left. We got two strikes. The Diaz de Leon family can steal. I'm gonna say Mary. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if Mary was one of the answers. Mary. Now the other family got their chance to guess, and they better have one brilliant answer. Guys, let's go. Who would Steve Harvey be in the church nativity play? The star, the guiding star. The star in the sky that leads them. The star! A miss, unfortunately, but a win for the Badgers. And a win for Steve for sure, since the donkey wasn't up there. Okay, we got a Bible theme once again. The first question for the trivia was to play Steve Harvey in the miniseries of the Bible. And let's see how that went. Name a part you could see Steve Harvey playing in a TV miniseries of the Bible. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Adam. first family that got to play was the Brewer family, and the next person to answer was Deborah. So what part would she give to Steve in the miniseries? Okay, well, Miss Deborah, name a part. You can see Steve Harvey playing in the TV miniseries of the Bible. Simon Peter. I didn't know he had yeah, first name. Yeah, he's got name, the double so. name, but Peter's good enough. Just, just always thought it was just good Peter. Answer. Good answer, good answer. Uh, that's okay, that's okay. Uh, Corey? Name a part you can see Steve Harvey playing in the TV miniseries of the Bible. David. Yeah. That's a good one. David. <laughs> Oops, they got two buzzes, so they should have had some good answers up in their sleeve next. Man, name a part you can see Steve Harvey playing in the TV miniseries of the Bible. I'm going to say Moses. Yeah. Mo yeah, I'll do that. Moses. Okay, that was good. Let's see if that will be Russ's answer. All right, uh, Russ, let's keep it going. We got two strikes. Jones family can steal parts. You can see Steve Harvey playing in the TV series, The Bible. Uh, how about Judas? <laughs> Judas? Oh, man. <laughs> All love. What's your Judas? <laughs> now you're liking my Jesus answer. <laughs> Please don't let that be up. <laughs> Judas! Yeah! Well, Steve wasn't thrilled Judas was up there on the table. Such a stupid game. <laughs> Daniel was next, and with hopefully one good answer since they already had two strikes. Daniel, we got two strikes, you gotta be careful. Part you can see Steve Harvey playing in the Bible. Uh, I hope you're an animal person and maybe you'd be Noah. Yeah, I'd do that. <laughs> Noah! 
That was a good one, and Steve liked it. So let's see what Deborah's following answer was, and no room for mistakes. You got two strikes, Jones family can still give me a part. You can see Steve Harvey playing in the miniseries The Bible. John. I'm gonna get turned back. John! Oh. Well, the Jones family got their chance now, and a chance for one good answer. Ladies, name a part you can see Steve Harvey playing in the miniseries of the Bible. Sorry, Steve. The devil. The devil. The Brewer family got lucky, but Steve just couldn't go past the last answer he heard. Look at me, look at me. Yeah, the five of y'all stood in a circle and came out with the damn devil. <laughs> oh boy, we can only imagine what circus we would see if the devil was actually on the table. All right, why wouldn't a cannibal eat someone? Top seven answers on the board. Bob was offended when the cannibal said, I'd never eat you, you're too what? Fat. You're too fat. Yeah, Susan got the answer number one, and the Bruce family got the chance to play first, and Molly was next to answer. Bob was offended when the cannibal said, I'd never eat you, you're too what? Ugly. You're too <laughs> ugly. <laughs> hey, David, Bob was offended when the cannibal said, I'd never eat you, you're too what? Woo, smelly, Steve. Oh. You're too smelly. Not bad, two good answers, so they better not mess this streak up. Bob was offended when the cannibal said, I'd never eat you, you're too what? You're too hairy. You're too hairy. Yeah, <laughs> oh. All right, one miss, not a big deal. Hey, CF, Bob was offended when the cannibal said, I wouldn't eat you, you're too what? Too old. You're too old. Don't nobody want, don't nobody want no old meat. Well, they got two strikes, and Susan was up next, with hopefully a good answer up her sleeve. All right, we got two strikes now, Miss Susan. We gotta be careful now, the Dowdy family can steal. Bob was offended when the cannibal said, I'd never eat you, you're too what? Bald. Susan went right into attack mode. I mean, at least Steve felt like that. Um, what was that about, Miss Susan? <laughs> You know, you and I, we've been having a wonderful time. You're too bald. And then, then you did that, so I knew you was talking to me. Bald! <laughs> well, it seems like Steve being the host is an exhaustible source of all kinds of answers. You don't know what to say? Just look at Steve, and the answer will show itself to you. You know, sometimes it will be a win, sometimes a miss, but at least you can try. Anyway, Ball didn't get them far, and the family got their chance. Bob was offended when Cannibal said, I'd never eat you, you're too what? Thin, Steve. You're too thin. <laughs> the Dowdy family got their winning answer. Well, just based on the trivia question, we can guess it will be an interesting game. You know what? Steve is the main character in this one, too. Top seven answers on the board. Name a part of Steve Harvey's body that you bet is as soft as a baby's behind. That mustache. <laughs> mustache. Your bald head. My bald head. <laughs> Of course, that milk dud head would be in the first place. I know it's one of y'all up top in the charge that flips the board over. Uh, you're gonna pay for the little milk dud comment, partner. Oh, it ain't over, homie, okay? Just know that. The producers may have gotten a threat from Steve, but none of Lee's family got the chance to play first. Name a part of Steve Harvey's body you bet is as soft as a baby's behind. <laughs> You're behind. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Your baby butt feel like my butt. Get your baby to the hospital. <laughs> my butt. <laughs> Wait, Spankable Booty place number two. Wait, they're on a roll. Name a part of Steve Harvey's body you bet as soft as a baby's behind. I'm gonna have to go with your legs. 
Steve's shaven legs into position number seven. Let's go. Vanessa, name a part of Steve Harvey's body you bet as soft as a baby's behind. I'm gonna say your face. Sleek cheeks for the win. So whoever wrote these answers deserves a bonus. Londell was the next to answer. And let's see if he can keep up with the guesses. Londell, part of Steve Harvey's body, you bet is as soft as a baby's behind. I will say nose. Okay. <laughs> Okay, his answer was buzzed, but maybe Ariel's answer was up there. My stomach. Your stomach, you got a smooth stomach. <laughs> stomach. And of course, Steve's washboard abs were on there. And let's hear Steven's answer too. <laughs> washboard. Yeah. Washboard. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got washboard abs. Oh, they in there. Stefan, name a part of Steve Harvey's body you bet is as soft as a baby's behind. I'm gonna go with your arms. Yeah. Yeah. Arms, Steve. Yeah. Oh. Steve's arms weren't on there, but will Erica have a better guess? Two strikes now, Witowski family can steal. Name a part of Steve Harvey's body you bet is as soft as a baby's behind. I'm gonna have to go with your lips. Yes! Yeah. There's not a chance that Steve's lips are not on the list. Soft and the same size of a baby's ass. Too. <laughs> okay, now this is hilarious. Bee stung lips. Well, it's safe to say that Steve's smile disappeared quickly. <laughs> Watch yourself, little girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true statement. The producers are on thin ice for sure. Now let's hear Venetia's answer. Two strikes though, Witowski family can steal. A part of Steve Harvey's body, you bet, is as soft as a baby's behind. Well, Steve, since I shook your hand, I'm gonna say your hands. Yeah. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Surely those hot lotioned hands were up there? All right, Steve was roasted with this list as no one, but we all had a good laugh, you know, except for Steve. You know, Steve's initial reaction when he reads the question can reveal what we can expect, and this time it seems like it's gonna be an interesting one. All right, top six answers on the board. If they sold a Steve Harvey costume for Halloween, what might it come with? Mustache. Come on, pimp. Mustache took the number one spot, and the Allen family is the first one to play. Hey, Robert, what do you do, man? Uh, I have the pleasure of helping students find their purpose. Uh, I'm a manager for an enrollment and admissions team over at Grand Canyon University. Oh, that's good, man. If they sold a Steve Harvey costume for Halloween, what might it come with? I gotta get me one of them nice suits, Steve. Get that suit on, man. Naturally, a suit is on the list, so let's hear Robin's answer next. Steve Harvey costume for Halloween. What might come with it? A good joke. A good joke. <laughs> come with a good joke. <laughs> Robin had a good guess, and Kamisha will keep their streak. They sold the Steve Harvey costume for Halloween. What might it come with? How about big lips? <laughs> The answer was not that bad, but Steve didn't find it as hilarious as everyone in the studio did. Hey, 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 don't take all that. <laughs> all that in the background. <laughs> he sure got some biggers. <laughs> well, maybe Steve wasn't thrilled about it, but big lips were on the list nonetheless, and Jamie was up next. Come on, Jamie. If they sold a Steve Harvey costume for Halloween, what might it come with? A bald cap. I mean, a bald cap would kind of be a necessity if it's a Steve Harvey costume, right? It is undoubtedly on the list. Well, unfortunately for unimpressed Steve. A bald cap. 
they were on a roll. Lamont was next, and you know, hopefully he will keep that streak of brilliant answers. Family feud sucks. <laughs> Alright, Lil Wayne. <laughs> Ain't no strikes, so you one answer left, you can clear the board. If they sold a Steve Harvey costume for Halloween, what might it come with? A big nose. <laughs> Wait, Steve's smile was disappearing after each and every answer, and he got tired of it. If Big Nose is up there, I'm gonna tear that damn, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tear the game board down. We going home, it's up there, I'm gonna tear the damn game board down. I'll tell you what, be up here, I'll Phew, that was close. Let's hear the last answer, and hopefully Steve won't tear up the studio after that one. Clear the board. If they sold a Steve Harvey costume for Halloween, what might it come with? You do a lot of talk shows, so what about a microphone? And they cleared the table quickly. And a few of Steve's smiles were also cleared up, but at least that big nose answer wasn't up there. So what do you guys think of these answers? Obviously Steve was a little bit uncomfortable, but please do let us know in the comments what answers would you have given. Subscribe for more content and tap the bell to never miss our uploads. Thank you for watching.